Hey Sunny here, what's up guys? Uh, so today I'm going to try to use uh, uh, my mobile phone uh, try to do a lesson on uh, explaining data 8th delay. Uh, data 8th delay is used uh, by U2 a lot uh, for the songs. Uh, also on uh, uh, Extreme uh, Fly of the Wounded Bumblebee, they use data 8th delay as well. Um, but it's only single feedback and uh, it's a little bit louder than uh, how U2 use it when the delay feeds back. So uh, let's kind of uh, go through the basic, and we're gonna uh, explain how, uh, explain what data eighth is, and how you can get uh, your delay set to different rhythm, different speed uh, for data eighth delay. And I'll just show you, explain to you why and how you can get that formula done. So uh, let's get right to it. All right. Okay. Before we get to the basics of dotted eighth, let's kind of talk about the rhythm notes notations first, so everybody knows. Uh, uh, if you're not sure what that is, and I'll explain to you right now. If not, you can just skip it. Uh, this is just basic uh, rhythm on notes. So the first one is whole note. When you say one whole note, uh, you can just uh, hold a note. It goes count one, two, three, four. So one whole note in the measure covers four beats. All right. Uh, if you split that down into two notes, it will be two half notes. Uh, basically, you take the pi you split in half, okay? Uh, so you'll, you'll count like each beat is two notes out of the out of each measure. So you go one, two, three, four. So that's two half notes. Now the next one is the most common one you probably see is the quarter note. You see them, you see this the most. Basically, every beat is uh, uh, is one count. So one measure has four. Let's say a four four timing. One measure we have four quarter notes, so it goes one, two, three, four. Okay. You basically take the pie instead of split in half. You take the pie, you cut in four pieces, same pie. Uh, so, and the next step will be eighth note. Basically, you take every quarter note you split into two. You basically uh, it's similar to you take a pie, the same pie you split into eight pieces instead of four. So those pieces get smaller. Uh, so in this case, the timing gets a little faster for each beat. So the counting would be, you know, one and two and three and four and so every you know, dot 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 dot. Every one of those is eighth note. Right, so let's kind of go through it so far. What whole note? You hold a, you hold a note for four the entire measure. One, two, three, four. If you want to play two notes in the uh, in one measure, you, that's two half notes. It goes one. Two, three, four. Four quarter notes. One, two, three, four. Eighth note. One and two and three and four and. If you take that further down, you take every eighth note, split into two notes. Uh, and you have called you have a last thing called sixteenth note. All right. So eight times two is sixteen. So you have sixteen notes in the pie. So you basically take the same pie. Instead of cutting into eight pieces or four pieces, you're cutting it into sixteen pieces instead. All right. Uh, so let's just so every quarter note. If you look at it, every quarter note has four sixteenth note. So one uh, and uh, two uh, and uh, three uh, and uh, four uh, and uh, okay. So that's what the sixteenth note means. Now let's talk about the dotted eighth note, dotted eighth delay. Every time we hear something called dotted in the notation world, uh, so that's one and a half of something. So dotted eighth, means one and a half of eighth notes. Um, now, if you have one and a half if each eighth note has two sixteenth notes, one and a half, that means you have three sixteenth notes. So for every every note that we play, uh, you hear the echo or the same note delay of three sixteenth notes. So if you have, let's just say if I play this one, one eighth note right here, and then the second eighth note right here. 
If you play those two eighth notes, the echoes of first note will come in right between the second and the third eighth note. Because right here, in this spot right here, you got this is three sixteenth delay. All right. So for every note you play, it echoes back right between the second and third note. So the the second note will echo right be, will be the delay will right between the third and the fourth. You see how it goes. So every single note you play, it echoes after you skip the next note. You'll be right between those two eighth notes right there. So that's how the echo comes in. All right. The next thing you want to know here's the basic formula. Uh, to to figure out what the uh, delay is, so um, uh, the formula is this: forty five thousand divided by x amount of per uh, beats per set per minute. Okay, and they'll give you the uh, the del the dotted x delay you want. So in this case, let's just say uh, let's just use forty five. Let's just use two hundred. Bits per per minute. That's what flight uh, flight of the wounded bumblebee is is two hundred bits per minute. What we have here is twenty is two twenty five millisecond delay. So if you set your metronome at two hundred bits per minute, if you want to play data X delay, you will set your delay at two hundred twenty five millisecond. Okay. This formula is true no matter what. So, you know, if you take 45,000 divided by, let's just say 100 beats per, se per minute, you will have 450 millisecond delay. So, if you set your Mitchell number at 100 beats per minute, you have to set your delay at 450 milliseconds to get a data X delay. So that's the formula. Now your question is, how? why are we using 45,000 divided by uh, X per bits per minute? And uh, if you're curious about that, and I will explain to you right now uh, using basic algebra. Uh, first thing we want to know is that, uh, uh, let's use simple time, right? So we, since we talk about minutes and seconds here, uh, so we know that one minute is 60 seconds, right? That's basic. Uh, everybody should know that. Uh, one second is how many milliseconds? One second is 1,000 milliseconds. So that means one minute, if you take 1,000 times 60, Every single minute has 60,000 milliseconds. Follow me so far? All right, so um, we, if we take, let's just take uh, um, 120, uh, 120 beats per minute or 120 quarter notes, okay? Because if you count every beat is quarter notes, we have one. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I just say those quarter notes. Let's just say if you go 120 quarter notes. So, and uh, so that means how many milliseconds is per quarter note? So the next thing we want to know is that we'll take 60 second. Like I said, we, we talk about 120 beats per minute. That give us how how much milliseconds per beat, right? So in this case, we have 500 millisecond per beat, per, per quarter note, how are you going to look at it? All right, so if 500 millisecond is each is one quarter note, if you remember, each quarter, each quarter note has four sixteenth notes in it. So how much, how many, how much a millisecond, or how many milliseconds is in one 
sixteenth note. So we take the five hundred millisecond because that's one quarter note. You divide it by four, that will give us one hundred twenty-five milliseconds per sixteenth note. All right. Now, if you recall, dotted eighth is one and a half. Uh, of eighth note, so you basically have three sixteenth note delay. So if you take 125 millisecond per sixteenth note times three, that would give us 375 milliseconds for dotted eighth delay. Okay, so again, it's 125 millisecond times 3 16th notes. That means 375 millisecond is for the dotted eighth delay. Uh, if you are setting your metronome at 120, uh, 120 beats per minute. Okay, follow me so far? Alright, so now we're going to use the uh, basic algebra. So if you if you follow this uh, uh, train of thought right now, uh, let's just say x unknown millisecond divided by 120 bits per minute equals 70, 375 millisecond. Kind of what we just did right here. We kind of work backward. So what is the uh, um, what is the millisecond? For this, so you basically you take x equal 375 times 120. Basic algebra, so x will be 45,000. Therefore, 45,000 divided by no matter what bits per second you want to use bits per minute so let's put x here that's unknown amount will equal uh, your dotted x delay needed or milliseconds okay alright so so that's a form that's how we get the formula. And I have to type it out so we make it easier for you to look at. So this is the how we do it. The beginning part I'll show you how I explain the measure. Uh, one whole note equals two half note equals four quarter note, and then get the sixteenth note. And that's basically that's basically basic fact of the time. And then we use the example 120 beats per minute equals 120 quarter notes. And that means, <clears throat> and the way I just walked through is that the dotted eighth note at 120 beats per minute would be 375 millisecond. And then we did that algebra thing here, the basic algebra calculation to come up with 45,000 is our value that we use. So the formula to get dotted eighth delay is 445,000 divided by. Uh, uh, unknown amount of beats per minute will get you the, the delay that you need. So for metro, if you use the metronome set at 100 beats per minute, 45,000 divided by 100, you have to set your delay at 450 milliseconds delay for dot eighth delay at 100 beats per minute. If you set your metronome at 150 beats per minute, you take 45,000 divided by 150, you get 300 millisecond delay time. Notice that the millisecond keep going down as you get faster uh, on your on your metronome. 200 beats per minute. That's what we use for flight of uh, wounded bumblebee. You take that 45,000 divided by 200 is 225 millisecond delay. So that means that if you want to play flight of the wounded bumblebee at the speed that uh, Nunu Bancourt plays, you set your metronome at 200 
beats per minute uh, and then you take that divide it so you have to set your uh, delay at 225 second milliseconds uh, is your delay time now to practice that you want to practice slower let's just say if you want to practice slower well, you can't play this fast at 200 bits per minute so let's just say if you use 150 bits per minute you have to set your delay uh, increase your millisecond to 300 millisecond delay so the echoes comes in a little longer because you're playing slower so that's how we get the formula and hopefully um, my explanation uh, is good um, and uh, so that's how data X delay uh, is put together and using formula and explain and I just explain what it is so our next lesson we're going to go over and uh, <clears throat> and show you how to play uh, Fly of the Wounded Bumblebees. Thanks for watching.